Pete, wake up. It's time to go hauling grain. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be hauling some grain here in Lincoln Creek. So we've got the truck all fired up. We're going to do a quick walk over of everything, make sure we are all good to go here. Kingpin's locked in the fifth wheel. Legs are up. The landing gear, by the way. Yes, I call them legs. Our hopper bottoms are all closed. Airbags are airing up pretty decent there. Back cabling is all connected. And the lights all seem to be working. I think we are good to hit the road here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you get a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. If we hit 150,000 subscribers by November 22nd, I will give away 10 copies of Farm Sim 22 for free. So we, first of all, have to go down to a farmer here and we're going to pick up grain to haul to the co-op up here. That's what we're doing today is hauling grain all around. We've got our old Peterbilt flat nose and yes, it's a cab over and yes, cab overs have a nickname of a flat nose. I get that all the time. There's no need to tell me that it's a cab over. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's important is that we're on the road and we've got some grain to haul. So let's get into that. And right here is our first client. So we're going to pull in nice and easy. And I do believe right up here is where we're going to have to fill up from. So before we pull all the way under, let's go ahead and hop out. We're going to open these tarps up. All right, we got the first one opened up. Let's just pull it on forward here. This might not be where he wants me. Uh, maybe not. That might not be the bend we need to pull out of. Well, let's try this other one over here. All right, we're all loaded up. We've got the first tarp uh, closed up. We're going to roll back here and close the second. Look Looking good. All right, I think we can hit the road. We've got a full A-train trailer system loaded up with some dried out corn here. So let's get that on up to town. This is a nice Peterbilt. The only thing about it that I don't really like, well, there's a few things, but mainly is this. There's no interior. That is the biggest downside of this truck, but it is what it is. Also, I just realized I took a wrong turn because this load isn't going north. It's going south. So we're going to have to turn this load around. Actually, we can turn right here i think we might be able to make this work good if i can get it to slow down make that turn gee overturn it jake yeah we'll get there we'll, we'll learn how to drive well we're taking a pretty roundabout way of getting there but we'll get this on down to its destination here shortly this fuel is or this 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 corn is going to the biofuel plant that's what i was trying to say slow down baby slow down Hoot, and turn it come on now oh I got to learn to hit the brakes sooner, man. Jeez. These trucks don't turn like a car, I'll tell you that much. So it's, it, you really got to slow down on these turns. Oh, slow down. I think that might have been a turn. Oh, come on, Jake. Oh, boy. Well, come on. Come on. Slow down. And finally. Oh, this thing takes forever to get stopped. I am pretty sure that was our turn there. So we're going to do the worst thing we could possibly decide to do and drive out into open soil with a semi that's fully loaded. And we're going to hope we don't get stuck. And we are going to finally take this exit. There we go. Thankfully, this part of the world don't have uh, much for ditches. All right, here we are. Slow down, make the turn. Perfect. And here we are. Let's turn on that turn signal and slow the truck down. Woo! I gotta, yeah, well, I gotta hit the brakes two times sooner than I would, I originally thought I had to, man. And now all we gotta do is pull on in here. They don't really have any markings. They should really put some cones out here to make this more obvious what I'm supposed to do. But pull up onto the scale, no problem. And they're going to want to test the corn. Now, are they going to want to test both trailers? I think testing one ought to be fine. So we'll pull up on right there. And we'll open up that tarp. There we go. And there they go. They're putting the prod down in, getting a sample of the corn, trying to find its moisture. And they're done. Finally. That took them a while. 111,000. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what that says. Numbers. If I'm wrong, don't blame me. Anyways, we got to figure out where they want this dumped. I'm pretty sure we go right on around this area like this. Oh, they got a sign there. Oh, 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 come on. I didn't read it in time. What's it say? Ah, straight. Got it. And we'll pull right on into number two and get unloaded here. I never closed the tarp. Oh, well, that's fine. Right up and in. Watching the trailer. Perfect. And get that over the top. There we go. Let's open her up. 
There we go. We've got it all dumped. Both of them are empty. Now, I think I should have time to close up my tarps here. And let's get back on the road. So we got that one taken care of. We're going to ride on this way. Our next client is down the road a little ways. We'll catch you guys once we get there. All right, we're at the next stop here. So we're going to try and swing real wide so we don't hit this guy's mailbox. And uh, let's get loaded up, shall we? Finished loading this truck up. Let's get back out onto the road. And uh, we have got a few more hauls to do after this one. So hopefully everything goes smooth yet. But we'll pull out onto the road and uh, we'll just continue doing our job. Man, oh man, it is a long drive to get back to uh, back to the town and to the co-op. Ooh, slow down. Look, oh, wow. Woo! Holy cow, look how full the river is right now, dude. What? That is, like, inches away from fully flooding. Wow. Holy cow, look at this. Look at that. It is, it is literally up to the bridge that is insane i was not expecting to see that much <gasps> oh this bridge is flooded too holy cow guys the current has pushed our truck and we are now all kinds of messed up on this bridge this is not a good situation we're fully loaded too and that's got to be a strong current for it to wash us up like that but i think we need to probably call a uh, tow truck now huh all right, we've got the rescue truck ready to roll here. It's the rotator that we're going to be taking out. Let's not hit any cars along the way. We've got to get down there, but we got to take the long way because uh, it got trapped on the bridge in between the town and where it is. So we're going to have to head all the way to the other end of that road and try to enter it. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a drive before we get down there. It's taking a while, but we are showing up here, I think. Man, that river is so full. And I see the truck and the cop cars. Here we are. Let's turn on our lights, and we're going to roll up here nice and easy. Might as well turn ourselves around here, because there's no way we're turning ourselves around on the bridge. Stop short from going into the person's field there. Here we go. Get her turned around, and we should be able to get hooked up now. So I'm going to back up right to about there we will do. Let's go ahead and let our extensions lift us up here. Now we can raise up our crane. Extend it out a little bit. Right there we'll do. All right. We got it turned on. We got to grab that end. And we're going to winch this thing on out of here. All right. We're going to watch the back end here as we start to winch this thing right on out. There we go. Just a little bit more. Keep winching it. We're getting it straightened out here. All right, keep winching it. There we go. We're making pretty good progress on this truck. That's looking good. All right, right there. We got to reposition now. There we go. We got the winch uh, disconnected up there. We're going to reposition ourselves a little bit. So I'll put in our little supports just like that. There we go. Pull forward, and now we're going to give ourselves a little bit more room to pull this guy right on out. So let's just drop that all the way down. There we go. And that, hope, well, we better go a little bit farther. Make sure we give ourselves plenty of room here. That ought to do right there. Got our lined up. We're going to put our drop back down here. So there we go. The stands are back out. And we can take this line right here and we can extend it back over to the truck. All right, here we go. Keep winching and we're going to pull this thing right on out of here. Hopefully we don't end up hitting that uh, cop car. It looks like we're going to clear it so far. And looking good, looking good. I think we got this thing pulled out of here. We can probably stop winching now. There we go. Got that disconnected and the truck has got out finally. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and close this thing on up here. And we'll let the tow truck driver get all ready to go, and we are going to hit the road. So let's get on ahead. Oh, English hard. Don't mind me. Let's go ahead and get back to town. There we go. Oh, well, guys, we got the truck unstuck, and uh, I think that's going to be it for this one. If this video ended up a little bit short, I do apologize. I've had a very busy day today, so we... we 
kind of rushed today's video and I do apologize for that, but it's for a good reason. There's going to be some really, really cool stuff, some stuff that you guys are all going to be excited about coming out here soon. And uh, I'm sure that the other guys will also have some cool stuff coming out here soon. Wink, wink, cough, cough. Anyways, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing.